come across stuff. crazy, crazy stuff like. Like, is it, like, garage sales, or is it, like, anywhere, just everywhere. trash I just, it? I go, I don't know, that's weird. Like, like if you guys have a list of stuff you need, yeah, I, that, that's, I can look for stuff. Bed rails. Bed rails? Yep, steel bed rails, roll, roller blade wheels. What it's an odd bed? request. Bed you know, this, the angle iron steel bed rails that, you know, your mattress sits on? Just the cheap. No, it's like too so we're reverse engineering what's been done on the LED array so far for the Conway's Game of Life uh, instructable display. We're just figuring out where we're at now. So we need to connect these leads to continue these. Some of the LEDs go that way, some of them go that way, and there's eight control lines. So these would be the control lines, one, two. The foodies have already started. Well, yeah, otherwise people get here and they're like, they leave. ways off food. Yeah, there's actually another one somewhere. Giant. Yes. I lost Stop. it. Bayleaf is gone. Yep. I gotta wait for the tortellini to get cooked. Mm. The foodies bring food, excellent. <laughs> and we're making progress on code and testing and soldering and yeah, time to eat though. these together and then he is wiring them to controller boards. Ah, so he's doing the important stuff. Controller board. Yay. And we we're wa doing wire wrap because wire wrap is way cooler than solder. So you put the wire in the tool on the outside and you put the tool in the hole. If you can find a hole like that. And you gotta just hold on to it. Twist. Neat. What's that? Don't you. <laughs> and now you have a perfectly wrap wrapped wire. What you doing? I am sanding this box that I just cut, whose pieces I just cut, and uh, this is going to be the uh, outside of a lantern of a semaphore tower lantern and the propeller board will fit in there mm -hmm. and then the lights will be set up so that they shine out through nice. this side what i've done is i've gone ahead and used the router to get um, the sides routed so that they all fit together like a nice little box notice the box well as it comes apart. <laughs> It'll hold things, I promise. <laughs> um, and the propeller demo board is slightly larger than the width of this, so I also routed a channel here. So theoretically, I could slide the board in like this before closing everything up. Um, I, I'm going to see if I can angle it and fit it in because it's only like off by maybe a millimeter or so. Um, so if I can get that angled in. I might still be able to fit the board when everything is glued together like this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, so we're going to go try that, and then uh, i got to get some LEDs soldered up. There it is. Oh, that's cool. So. 
It seems like, I think the battery might be dying because it only works every so often. What kind of battery does it have? A 9 volt. Oh, there's probably a couple of those around here. Yeah. Do you need a new Expired, one? Expired, you know, five years ago. <laughs> well, it doesn't explode. It'll work enough. So we can actually take a look at this. Um, That's so cool. It's quite wide. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Making a door instead of gluing it all together and then smashing the propeller in. Door is good because then you can get the prop back out. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> but now we need a hinge. Right. Tiny hinge too, not just like. Oh. Um. Hinges laying around. Make one. Make a slot so the door slides. Like the tea boxes. All right, so what we've done is we've used the wood boring Bits. bit to get this hole, and uh, this is for the PS2 keyboard cable to go through as well as the power supply. And this isn't big enough for the power supply to go through, so we're gonna route it to give it a little more space. <laughs> different design but I just wanted to do a different design it's like a head with two buns on the side I was gonna say it kind of looked like a lamb yeah. now it kind of looks like Leo well, it looks like a head with really big ears all right so we got uh, the output cable that goes to the next one of these boards the question is how long do I want imaginary to land here We've got this one started that goes to our controlling microcontroller that's okay. spitting out all the bits. Cable right and we got the power line that'll be running to in. this module. Each one of these modules is going to get its own power supply so we can have tons of current. Yes. And the ground right, gets passed so, from module I mean, to module all the so way back well, to the micro. And then all the grounds head. from the power supplies get connected to each other. If so it's it kind of complicated room, and I'll it's going to take me a while. Couple more channels. Okay. So you want the short lead to the long lead? Yeah, so it's only about half wired. And then we have extra jumpers we have to do later. Okay. But these are all pairs. This cool. is the easiest thing to figure out at the moment, so. Do it again. Yeah, this, this is what this uh, light transmitter sounds like if you decode it with AM. Which is totally the wrong way to decode it, but you know, it sounds interesting, I guess. So that's, that's the main, that's this transmission. You can hear other things, someone else is using this exact same frequency for whatever their silly home automation product is. But, so now we need to, now we need to figure out why our transmitter is not working. Because we implemented a transmitter that should do the exact same thing that this little guy does. It doesn't. So, so, first light, but it's wrong. There should only be one light on, correct? Right? There should only be one light on. What do you got loaded? I'm okay. putting out uh, zero and then seven ones. So, there should only be one light on, right? That'd be what I expect. Yeah. So we need to figure out why there's two lights on, and, and then we can move forward from there. Right this, little, this little thing that controls the light over there. Yep. And so it transmits at a, a 433 megahertz. And how did you figure that out? Um, I just guessed there's several frequencies that you actually just, these, these things run at, mm -hmm. uh, called ISM bands. Mm -hmm. So we can actually go over to 433 megahertz. 
that we can see when we control the light right over ah, here. That's the cool. transmissions from this guy. Wow, okay. Um, and so what we did is we looked, uh, we decoded this. It turned out to be a variant of amplitude modulation called uh, uh, on off key. Okay. And so we were able to see it actually just as this pattern of pulses where they're uh, high and low. There's long and short pulses where the long pulses are ones and short pulses are zero. Mm -hmm. It just makes this code to encode what light you're turning on and off. Mm -hmm. So what we just did is we just recorded that. Um, <laughs> No, I'm kidding. That's awesome. Uh, I like that. And then I, uh, I wrote this program uh, that basically takes the recording and then re-modulates re, uh, it in the same method and transmits it to the same frequency. And so I can then run this program uh, and it turns the light on. On the phone, but the phone backs up to iCloud. Oh, that's brilliant. And what are you programming in? Uh, this is just uh, GNU Radio Companion, so it's just like a graphical programming oh, okay. for this, the radio. Right. You can also program in Python or C++ if you want. But okay. For, like, for, for quickly hacking something together, it's nice to just drop the blocks in. Oh, how fun. Transmitter in it, so it's got this little antenna. Tiny camera with a video transmitter. So, yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah. So it, uh, I have it because I put it on like RC planes, but it'd be really, yep. it'd be kind of cool as a hacker F to actually decode this video. How far can it do it? It doesn't go very far. It goes like 100 meters maybe. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's not. So if you're like sitting outside of a yeah, line of sight. Yeah. yeah, for, for the art plane, it's okay. Yeah. Um, I think this is at like 1.2 gigahertz or something. Oh, okay. I have this. I have a receiver for it that's yep. really, really sketchy and doesn't work very well. So well, that just means you have to make it. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, nice. Worst things have happened. I have a Especially question. Right here. You work for Mozilla. I do. All right. What is the best part about working there? Uh, probably that I get to like submit, write all my code, and then have it be public online, rather than kind of just. Yeah, it's all public versus like just having my code disappear randomly into the depths of some big company. It's pretty nice. That makes sense. And do you guys use only Firefox and not Chrome then? Yeah. Basically. Basically, I mean, we we, have, we we use we use Chromium and stuff for uh, uh, testing with, because we, we have a lot of stuff that needs to work in our browsers. Okay. And so we're we're friends with the Chromium team. So. Oh, you are. Yeah, I mean, oh. I remember like a lot of the uh, they hired a lot of Mozilla people. Oh, so, to work okay, on. so it's yeah. Same, it's like the same people. Well, that's it's like yeah, uh, that same. same. You know, most of the people at work they didn't have they any broke hobbies it. Out, oh, there engineering it hobbies outside of work. It's like one of those things. So it's not, so it's not as say things like. Well, yeah, it's pulled down, but I mean, you still got a lot of antenna line there, right? I don't want internet. I want to deal with wires. I don't want to deal with. Do you have latch? All right, so propeller demo board. I've got um, our one of our kits, the NPN8. Um, I've got the serial clock latch, VDD VSS all um, plugged in and soldered up here. And then I have these wires going to the LEDs to the, I believe the cathode side of the LEDs. They're going to be going into port in, and then all of these port out are going to be connected through a, a current limiting resistor to ground. Huzzah. So thanks to Ruth. <laughs> um, she made this board out of some old peg board and it's and then widen the holes with drill bits, drill bits so that these can be held in place um, so they're more sturdy and they're even or yeah, evenly spaced. So I'm just going to plug all of them in and then we should be able to test it. All right. This is above my so, level of expertise. LEDs Everything. with pegboard um, hooked into one side, it's hooked into I believe the cathode. It's hooked into one side level. of our board or module. The other half is hooked to ground. And then I have the clock serial data lines, all that, hooked into the propeller. And I had to do a little bit of a crap shoot because of the uh, the wires that I used were super thin gauge. So I'm going to turn it on. That's not the point, though. You have the potential to be much smarter than me. That's all I care about is the potential. 
All right, well, thank you, Jessica. That was very smart of you, and I feel a lot better, like, you can con me into feeling better. All right. So I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I've got enough brain juice left to actually push anything out onto it. Does it work? Yeah, yeah, we're able to individually control the lights now. Everything's working pretty well. <laughs> we're very tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a very long day. It's 2.30 right. in the morning. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, we're screwed for tomorrow. All right, using a bit of hot glue magic, I made some Ghetto Fabulous um, shims here so that this board would stay in place. Um, I think in the future we'll probably make something a little bit more permanent, but for now, as proof of concept, um, I wanted to make it so it would stay. And then, this is the cover, and I'll just put that on okay. one sec. So let's test this. Ooh, Whisker, can you turn the lights off? Okay. Ta-da! Little, little semaphore lantern here. <laughs> Sweet. Capable of showing uh, signals from a keyboard. And it wouldn't go back in. And it'd be like, oh. hey, restart your camera. Alright, we'll <coughs> sorry, the camera now. Alright, sorry, I was distracted. Um, halfway what? <laughs> yep, just do a slip knot halfway down your elastic string. Well, it seems to have much more wires than the last time I looked at it. Alright, slip knot. You're not supposed to film this part, because I don't know. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Just... Here. Push it through the hole. Put oh, this? No. Oh. Slip knot. Oh, I, I see. Yeah. I could peach now. There you go. Alright, thanks, man. Oh, how funny. Just that's the lamest jokes. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right, Kev. Explain to me, what are you doing? Um, good question. I'm putting together the really big launcher, which I assume goes... For my rocket. There's Jesse. Yay. Yay. People are finding us. If I put it in the right direction, that made it. Hey guys. Hello. Yo. You found us. Yeah, I was looking all over the place. Um, Did you stop by the prison too? No. What uh, the? I think I'm in the cold. Why is it going that way? All right. But it's not like a slight. Does that need to be flat? <laughs> it's adjustable. Oh, okay. Oh. Alright, go ahead. What? Uh, so we're going to do your rocket first. Right. So this is the larger diameter motor. Okay. Um, but it's not long enough. Okay. So we have a spacer. So All we'll right. just drop the spacer in. Okay. And the engine goes in. Oh. Already put the igniter in it. So now we're almost ready to go. Okay, cool. And now we need to make sure it doesn't get fired. Just for a second, Not really. It's so big. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Even there, you have landmarks. We have flame know, retardant paper. Big castle. There's no fun. <laughs> One of those sport fields. Right. These, <laughs> which looks suspiciously like toilet paper. You see our. <laughs> It may well be toilet paper. Oh, it's even got the squares. And then I believe we can turn on to this street. So you see 
our drive south. Stuffing it into the thingy. Yeah, it is. And this is what protects your parachute okay. from melting. Uh, okay. When the ejection charge goes off. Okay. That's useful. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have a four yeah. square location for this, yeah, so. I think this doesn't go high enough. We have an engine that's about three times as powerful. Okay. And we throw in here. Okay. Okay. Are we gonna launch it right now? We may as well. Oh my gosh, okay. Is everyone ready? Wait, oh wait. Go ahead. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> oh, oh. Can it see it? I don't think the camera can see it. Oh no. I got it. I can't see it. Oh, it's right above. It's right above. You can see the paper coming down too now. There it is. There it is. Catch it. Who's that? Who's that? It's the Punisher. No, but I know a guy. <laughs> Sup, man. Hey. Are you are you biking without a helmet? Walking. I don't need a helmet to He's walk, do walking, I? Walking his I need a his helmet skull. when I wear the Oculus Rift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you even have a launcher. I do. Look at that. I lost my, uh, hey, I'll give this to you. I, I, uh, my wife Matt's going to give his rod one, to you. So, well, no, I, I, I had this since the 80s. And it was in my dad's basement. And I thought, oh, I can bring this over. Well, we should make that the rabbit hole one. Because there's a couple people asking to borrow... Fine. Launching stuff. Yeah, launching thingy. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! I told you I was waiting for one to do that. <laughs> what did it do, Kevin? I think, I think <laughs> you think so? Yay. Imagine that. Fins are all on. I, I think maybe they're not very straight. That's why it went kind of, oh. kind of weird. Did it curly cue? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, oh, there it goes. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> Oh, with the nose cone! And there's the parachute! <laughs> <laughs> yep. One of the fins landed. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there's the nose cone. Oh, oh, oh. Pretty sweet turnout. Yeah, this is like tons of turnout. Yeah. <laughs> nice little radius. One, zero. No, that's okay. That's the water. Wow. I'll try it. Oh my god. I was really worried the wind was going to be pretty strong up there, but that's not too bad. 
This is the best it, day of the month, I think. For it's wind. actually been gusty. Oh. Like it, it'll it'll go and then stop, and then go and then stop. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice pass. One. Oh. Oh. I can't even see it. Where is it? It's up there. I see it. There it is. Where is it? It's Honey, did there. you put a shoot in your rocket? Nope. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. I knew I was missing something. So, again. So the, the nose oh. came off, but uh, yeah, it's just coming down. Yeah, he didn't put a shoot in it because he's special ed like that. Yeah. <laughs> did it survive though? Probably. It looks like it. Yeah, it survived! <laughs> The light lights up when we push this in, we're ready to go. Okay, now it's armed. And then you do a countdown and you push that button and hold it. And you'll have to hold that down with one hand if it doesn't stay on by itself. The light needs to be on, then count down and then push that and hold it till the rocket goes off. Okay, you got it? Okay, we're ready for another one! Okay, right. okay count it down, bud. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Good job, Quincy. You did it. Good job. All right, where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Push pretty hard. It's like that. Okay, so and then what we're going to do, why don't you count down from five real slow, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, press and hold. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Everyone's gonna see a lot of blue sky. All right. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Magic. Uh oh. The shoot. Oh. No shoot. That's no fun. Well, it's in the grass. Oh, oh there it goes. Hey, Late deployment. <laughs> Watch now. It comes down in the cattails. Now it will. Yeah. Hit yeah. Oh, we may yet be all right. Oh, all right, where'd it go? We're the cattails yet. <laughs> it's over flying it, I think. So if the wind keeps blowing, it should be fine. Come on! Should I go in the gag tails or not to get it? Just check yourself for takes afterwards. Right. You got that line changed in the area. It'll go, it'll go, uh, just straight up and, uh, tumble down. Hopefully. Watch out right, for this, so this one! This is just a button. Just yeah, this so button right here or that? So. That's the light to let you know your arm. This one's got no okay. shoot. So hold that down. All right. Oh. All right, everyone, launching. Oh my god! I like that we have a bike to chase the rocket. Yeah. <laughs> Two, one. Whoa. One, go. Oh my. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Goodbye, tiny rocket. Oh, what is this? What is this? Why, Mike? Why? I'm sweaty now. We will rebuild. We will.
bigger, faster, stronger. So we made like 20 pounds of brats. Did you really? So many brats. From like, from like, we, I mean, it was a big pork butt that was cut up. They're not all. I know. you grind up and we'll cut them with a grinder. And they're not flat. Like electric grinder. Well, she had it. So she brought it. Three monitors. One of them just has a. An SSH terminal session running, yeah, and I can see the server messages go by. So when you guys are playing Minecraft, it's like the most violent SSH session ever. Yeah. <laughs> Cook of the hour, and that's where we're that's where we're different. So a lot of people, the most deployed one is MySQL. After so we take a, a couple of these off, we'll put more coal on. And then they'll hook it with the data and with the with the we'll application the server. Like, uh, Sounds like good, man. I can either try to so figure I out an answer on my own or, or I can send a, a signal. Because I, you know, <laughs> a million miles of sweat. We have room for a few more. <laughs> you're crowding. You're crowding the broads, man. Crowding the broads. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Our 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 Yeah. And we have some servers that are. If you want to come take a few, so it, I, I think. Are you worried about? Well, the ones on the plate, for one, probably. Well, she's worried about the ones on the plate. I'm more concerned about, like, these. Now let's chow. Perfectly done. Nice. Which one are you worried about? Uh, like some of these. Done. 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 Some of them went on cold and some of them were still frozen. Did you say these were done? Uh, most of the ones that look like they're good are good. Sorry for being a liar about things being defrosted. Well, they were. This one is definitely not done. Well, it like it's still pink, so. All right, I will bring these inside. Okay, do that, and then in a couple minutes, we'll have more. Nice.